Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're just gonna sit down and play with some new makeup and yeah, do a bit of skincare. And this is just a random ass video. I mean, what else can I do whilst just being 24 seven in the house? Um, I am lucky to have some like new releases from Revolution Pro. So they have their new CC cream, and bronzers and powders. I've got new lashes, new eyeshadow. I don't know, how have you guys been doing during these times? Honestly, it's it definitely, sometimes I'm just there and I'm like, this is so surreal. But one thing to remember is that we are all in this. Like it's not just a couple people, right? So we're all in lockdown, we can't go out. I'm, I always say I'm usually a home person, but I don't like the feeling of not being able to go out. Definitely weird times. It's honestly so sad how many people are dying at the moment. It's not, it's not something to be taken lightly. So if you, if you can, I know there are different circumstances out there, but try your best to stay at home. Don't let your kids out play in the streets. Just stay at home. I know it's 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 gonna be hard, but it's only temporary, and that's why I keep telling myself. I'm gonna stop rambling because I just want this video to be an, kind of like an escape for you guys and for myself from everything that's going on in this world right now. So, yeah, first thing I wanted to share with you, I got some workout bits because I've been working out crazy. This whole situation can go <laughs> two ways: either I come out looking three times my size because I just keep eating, or I make sure to be careful of what I eat, still treat myself every now and then, work out every day because there's just so much extra time and get out of this looking fire for summer. Get what I mean? So we all need to be in the same boat, okay? We need to get ready for summer. So I just got a couple things from Pretty Little Thing. I got this uh, cute little bra, sports bra. I only have like two or three and I always have to like wash them every time I use them so now I've got like an extra one and this is very tight I need something to support because my boobies hurt when I run okay doing those jumping jacks with no support oh my god and I've got itty bitty titties okay can't even imagine if you got like size C or D okay or even bigger then we got another one I thought this was cute to be honest everything was out of stock so I'm lucky to get these everything's in a size small but look how cute that is it's super simple very tight so I can stick my boobs to my rib cage and then to go with those I got these cute little workout shorts and these are in a size 10 I got so many PJs that I showed you in my previous vlog and I just want to keep buying like either PJs or workout clothes that's all I want to do because that's all I can wear at the moment maybe I should buy some more and do like a pajama gym wear try and haul let me know in the comments below. So whilst I'm doing my eye, my eyebrows and my eyes, I'm gonna do so put some little mask on from Baselift. I've been loving their products and I did a video with them on my Instagram. So do follow me on Instagram because that's where I've been a lot lately. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna be able to talk to this. I think I should be laying down whilst I have this because it's, it just doesn't want to stay on it right now. So just to fill in my brows, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black. The lip mask is gone. I'm going to keep these eyes thing here. At least I can talk now. I'm not going to lie, that really hydrated my lips. I'm just going to take some of the Glossier Mitt Balm .com. It's like a skin salve, but I like putting it on my lips. Right, brows are on. I'm going to use some of my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm just going to put this in place. Just to hold those brows in place because mine are extra long and they just move all over. In case you're wondering why we use brow gel so now I guess we can move on I am gonna take a little bit of concealer just to clean these brows up my brows are done I took my eye masks off I actually just went to go um, have a bit of lunch I'm going to use some of the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. I love to use this stuff in the morning as soon as I wake up. 
just the best feeling ever. So now I'm going to use the Embryolis Radiant Eye. It's a cooling and refreshing eye care kind of stick. And it is definitely really cold. So I just like to pop this under my eyes. And then I'm going to use the Embryolis um, moisturizer that I always use. This stuff is like amazing. So guys, if you're going to order stuff, just be careful with your packages. Make sure to disinfect them, throw away the packaging, use a disinfectant wipe or alcohol. If you don't have some, just use straight up drinking alcohol in your cupboards just to clean it all. So for me, it's so weird. Yes, I'm at home, but like I'm constantly on the computer trying to like catch up on work stuff. It's definitely weird. I'm glad that it's like the weekend and I'm going to try and upload this today. It's Saturday, guys. Um, it's good to just wake up and just not work. I think when you are working in the office, especially when you travel far, which is my case, maybe like work from home a couple of days a week or one day a week just to kind of change it up a bit if that's a possibility. But right now, not only do you work, you're working from home every single day, but you're restricted to do anything outside as part from like your one exercise, um, going shopping. It, when I'm outside, I've decided I'm not going outside anymore, even for like a run. I really had a good run out the other day, but like, I'm just not risking it anymore, guys. It's just not worth it. And anyways, when you go out, it just feels so wrong. I'm gonna move on to our base. I'm gonna try the new CC Creams by Revolution Pro. Um, I'm gonna swatch three shades for you so you can have like an idea around my skin tone. I have F10, F11.2 and F11.5. So those are the three shades right there. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a tube with a pump, which I'm really not mad at. So that's F10. 11.2. I think which is my shade and this shade is 11.5 the sponge I'm going to use today is this Colourpop one it came from their sponge set which I definitely recommend you guys um, once this whole thing is over and you can get your hands on like shipping is back to normal but yeah these sponges have not disappointed me at all This is actually a very hydrating, like you can definitely see a glow there. Normally I always think of CC creams being like for more oilier skin types. So this is a buildable fuss free foundation, has SPF 30, it's a hydrating formula which I can definitely agree on. I've got like the leaflet here guys. 20 true skin shades. I'm gonna save all the stuff that I got, well most of it, for giveaways so do stay tuned. I'm hot putting all my giveaways on hold at the moment because my local post, post office is closed. So I definitely will be holding some giveaways when this is all over. I will have a bunch of stuff for you all. It says it's perfect for dry to combination skin, sheer to full buildable coverage. I'm actually very very pleased with the coverage. I would say it's like medium but you can definitely build up with this and get a full if you want so happy with the shade oh my god i love this so normally when a base product is really bad for me when i've done my full face at the end i've got major smile lines so we're gonna see if um, this does that or not i'm really happy with how this looks i'm so surprised the shade is bang on for me like it is perfect and this is £10, so affordable, like, I can't fault them, honestly. Okay, so now we're going to move on to concealer. I'm going to use the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer in 11.2. I'm going to put this under my eyes, my nose. I don't really need that much coverage apart from my eyes. I have used this concealer before and it's definitely amazing coverage it's more of a like dewy sticky concealer but i'm not mad at it it's very nice and it doesn't really crease that much on me i'm gonna use my finger just to like warm that up a bit okay revolution pro okay i see you thumbs up for that we're gonna go on to powder it came out with a bunch of um cc perfecting press powders but also a translucent pressed powder. So I'm going to use a translucent one under my eyes and the shaded one, which is golden, I'm going to use today 
on the rest of my face because this is very very dewy right now I will try to do like This is why I like to mattify my under eyes. By the way, my brother's playing his games. If you hear noise, you just have to get used to it, guys. There's six people in his house. They're all in the house. You can't do nothing else. My brother's playing his games. Everyone's yelling. But yeah, I like to have my under eyes matte because it just helps to kind of conceal that dent that I have. So now I'm going to use the golden shade just to kind of like set my face. This is a Nanchi face brush. I like to use it for bronzer, but I need to wash my brushes. I don't want to do too much because I want to keep some of the glow. I'm not mad with the way this looks, guys. So next we have the Sculpting Bronzer. I have the shade Cacao. Cacao? How do you say it in a British accent? Cacao. Cacao. Cacao? I don't even know, okay? But this is what Cacao or Cacao looks like um it was the closest to the one i use every day which is my fenty beauty uh, caramel cutie bronzer it's not exactly the same but the darkness of it is uh, similar but the tone of it is not it's more on the cooler side um for a bit more warmth i thought i'd get i'll grab um one of the cc powders if the bronzer doesn't work too much but i think the bronzer will work the this is the shade deep but yeah we're first going to start with the bronzer Guys, I can't complain right now. These are just bomb. This bronzer is blending so effortlessly. Rightio, I'm really happy with the way this looks now. I'm gonna grab a little bit of blush. This is the Revolution Blusher Reloaded Baked Peach Palette. Just mind the state of it. But it's a cute blush. Okay, I'm gonna leave the base like this because the glow is there. I don't feel like I need to add highlighter. I'm just really happy with the way this looks right now. This is just a close up of the Zeus skin. Guys, this is so embarrassing. I'm definitely gonna do this tonight, I promise. This is, oh, I wish I had someone to do it for me. I hate doing my nails now. I really don't have the patience for it. And I'm gonna clean my brushes today too. Today's eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Lilac palette. These are her pastels edition. And this is what the inside looks like. Now I do have two others, a mint green and a pink, but I'm gonna keep those for a giveaway because I don't need all three of them. But I like this one which is what I'm going to be using today. I was also gifted a bunch of brushes, so I'm really excited to use these. I'm just going to take some of my L'Oreal More Than Concealer in the shade Toffee, just as an eye base. So I'm going to take the darkest purple in this palette. I'm just going to press that all in the crease, of course. I didn't think I was gonna receive these to be honest. Um, they're not like your typical everyday palette for sure. But if you like to um, experiment with color, these are actually not bad. I, I went for the lilac one because I feel like it's more wearable, especially for like my skin color. That's the darkest shade in the palette and that's how it looks. Now like her mini obsessions palette, the medium one is like one of my favorite mini palettes from her that is very pigmented and it's got nice shades um this is more these palettes i don't know they're like more for fairer skin tones i feel like but we're gonna play with them anyways because what else do i gotta do i'm gonna take the other side of the brush and use the movie shade and just kind of build on top of that it's actually showing up a bit more i'm just trying to soften and blend out the edges. I'm gonna put the dark shade again on my lower lashes, just for a bit of color. I always like to put some color on my lower lash line. Not only does it help kind of conceal like the creasing under your eyes, because your your under eyes will naturally crease no matter how good the concealer is. 
so it kind of helps to conceal that and set it even more um, but it just really like just frames the eye I feel like I'm now gonna use some glitter glue and use the little spongy brush I love these spongy triangle brushes from Huda and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid and I think I'm gonna take the lightest color in the palette just build that all over I feel like the glue helps to get the highest intensity from the palette I'm just gonna go back in with the darkest purple and just build on that crease and then the outer corner see I find that quite wearable like if you're going out for a little party or something just do the same thing on the other eye I like to finish off with my finger because it just adds that extra oomph and then I'm gonna use this Colourpop black eyeliner this is in the shade numero uno I feel like when I do my eyeliner, hold my breath and just don't breathe. I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna just have to go off camera right now. Right, so that turned out definitely thicker than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna be using the new Eyelaw um, collaboration with the Plastic Boy, Gary, who is so sweet. He sent me the whole PR and messaged me. I'm so, so happy for him and this is just like an amazing collab I've seen you in my local boots and it's just crazy it's crazy how brands are like fully collaborating with influencers now um, and Gary's always been the sweetest to me every time I bump into him at events but yeah girl needs to show some love and we're gonna put these on today I'm so excited so this is in the style bad and bougie which I feel like is so fitting for one of Gary's lashes honestly Do they fit? I think I want it to be more like that. Yeah, I need to cut a little bit off. So I've cut off like a centimetre off and that just fits right on. But you just have to measure it against your eye and see what works best for you. So the, the pack obviously comes with glue, so I'm just going to use that glue with the lashes. So whilst my lashes are drying, I'm just going to quickly curl my own. I'm also going to use the Huda Beauty double liner, but the crayon side. It looks like this with the crayon bit. This on the outer corner. I feel like that makes such a difference. For mascara, I'm going to use a Too Faced Damn Girl mascara. It's got a huge brush, and I'm just going to pop a bunch on, especially on the inner corner. So, guys, I watched the platform on Netflix. The weirdest film I've ever seen in my entire life. But it was intense and like you want to know what happens. I didn't really like the, the ending but it's a film to watch if you like horror, thriller kind of films. Like that's my go-to, just horror, pure horror. My favourite horror film is definitely like the Conjuring series. Um, Conjuring 2 was really good. If you want a really good horror film, and I don't feel like everyone's watched this, it's called The Grave Encounters. I've watched it so many times, it doesn't scare me anymore, but the first time I watched it, I honestly couldn't sleep for like a week, and I have watched loads of horror films. You know when a pair of lashes are just perfect? Honestly, Gary, if you're watching, I don't know if you are, but if you are, I love these lashes. They're bomb, okay? All right, so that's our lash, our eyes done. I might do a little inner corner highlight. So I'm going to grab my little glitter brush and I'm going to take this really pretty coral from the palette and just press this right there. You always need a good inner corner highlight. Okay, so now we can move on to our lips. I'm going to do just a classic nude. I'm going to use the NYX Suede uh, Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. And I'm going to use this new Hydro Gloss by Revolution Pro. This is in the shade Tainted. This is not sticky. It's just a 
a classic gloss it's very pigmented and i love this lip combo what do you guys think i'm so happy with everything the lashes are just 10 out of 10 i love them yeah this lip is just really hydrating the bronzer is bomb i like the powder so far i don't see any creasing just the whole base is oh, guys i've only got good things to say Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely have some, I'll definitely try and do some more vlogs in the week if I can. Or maybe do like a workout with me video. I'm no expert, but I might just do like a workout with me, not like a tip giving workout. Because I'm no professional at all. Let me know what else you want to see on my channel because it's difficult. I don't think I'm going to get much PR to test new products out. What kind of looks do you want? Or I don't know guys, what do you, what do you guys want me to film on this channel? Like it's definitely weird times i'll try and do more baking um, videos i might make a um, i'm gonna make a banana cake tomorrow anyways thank you so much for watching um take care of yourselves and make sure to stay home and yeah i hope you enjoyed this little video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys